sorry. No, I promise I'll be there, but I have to finish something at work. No, because it's my head on a chopping block if I don't. No, Sarah, because I can't just start something and not finish it. No, you know me. Like, listen, I promise I'll finish up and then I'll come. No, I do love you. Yes, I will. Listen, if you're gonna prank call someone, why don't you do it to someone who's got no life, okay? Someone like you. Her name is Zoe Brachner. Her corpse was found at 2 a.m. March 29th. 
She suffered two stab wounds to the chest and multiple stab wounds to the stomach. Early investigation revealed that this was her occupation. She was a colonist. She specialized in crime and corruption. At the time, she was investigating the drug trade between Canada and Brazil, which is why we felt that we should call you in. Now, her family is devastated and they want justice. I know you haven't been here for very long, but you reviewed the case. You know all the facts. Carlos, what have we got? Superintendent Gomez, studied the photos of the crime scene. I've looked over all the security footage, and I now have reason to believe that Zoe wasn't a random victim. She was a target. What gives you that impression? The attacker knew her workplace as well as she did. Even better. This murder was planned to look amateurish, but really, it was planned to the team. So, are you saying we're dealing with a professional? I don't know yet. Zoe's columns in the drug trade must have given her enemies. Probably be a smart place to start. As for myself, I'm gonna go check out the crime scene. See what else I can find there. Carlos, whatever your plan is, you have our full support. Give us some names and we'll follow your lead.
Nathan and Gomez. It's been a while. Well, Nathan, I need at least a couple of weeks before I have to look at your ugly and smuggy again. You, uh, have any information from your boss about what's happening with my money? Last time I talked to Muzio, he told me something big was coming. We're gonna make a new drug and flood the market. We'll make hundreds of millions of dollars. When we do, we'll give you your share. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I know about China. And I know about Brazil. And I know how much money we're making. And I know half your bottom end should have gone to me. Now, I've spoken with Muzio. And he agrees that it's time to let you go. Tell Sebastian Muzio that Nathan's been taken care of. Also let him know that there's a man named Carlos that's going to be sniffing around. He's a cop, and I don't want him screwing anything up. So when's this guy coming? He comes when he feels like it. But we have to be waiting until he gets here. When he arrives, just make eye contact and smile, okay? He can smell the nervousness off you. There he is. Lenny? Ugh, who is this? So, uh, this is the guy I've been telling you about. He's gonna assist me in mass production. It's an honor to meet you. Anyway, so how's our new product? It's more addictive, yes? Yeah, it's called Substance J. It's a new uh, compound I've been developing with different kinds of opium. There's some Syrian rue added as well to increase the high. Through connections uh, Caden has, I've been able to get a train line running through Boston. Eventually, the stuff reaches Mexico where it's packaged and delivered to dealers in that country, as well as in Brazil. Uh, have we extended the East? Yeah, we've spa established new ports in Shanghai, but we'll be importing it. It'll be safe there. Then once it reaches Beijing, it'll be sold all over the streets. Very good. And uh, the new product is more addictive than the uh, previous batch. Uh, yeah, like we've given samples around to Toronto and the customers. I, mean, I miss the good old days when we just cut out people's tongues when they start speaking when they're not supposed to. Who are you, Joseph Stalin? <laughs> what did you just say? You know, like, your accent. Looking like a dictator. Stalin. No? Ha <laughs> 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 So the Boston pipeline, which we now have uh, taken from Douchebag over there, I, I want someone reliable to be in charge of it, all right? Yes, and sir. Don't worry about security, I'll, I'll handle it. Get out of town fast. This is exactly what I expect from you, idiots. That's why I'm on the top of the food chain. You're on the bottom. You guys are pussies running and hiding from one cop. But why not fucking cop? It's like asking a whore for permission to use a condom. Like, who does that? You're paying her. Now, you run and hide if you want. It is God's responsibility to play his fucking game. He's about to learn how big a player I am. Fuck you. Okay. Anton, do me a favor. I want you to reach out to our contacts in the police department. 
get this police officer ID number and his badge. I want to have a conversation with this so-called Carlos. Sebastian Muzio, 25 years old, Harvard grad, top man in the drug trade. That's the one we need to take down. I tell you, Carlos, we have been looking for this guy for a long time now. And even if we did find him, what evidence do we have against him? I found this information on a USB that belonged to Zoe Brashner. On it, it's a list of all the people involved in the drug trade. One of the most important people, Nathan Malik. I think it's important because he was higher up in the chain of command. Now, if we can find Nathan, I feel like we're going to have to find the information that we need. <laughs> See, it's funny that you mention Nathan Malik. Because we found his body this morning. It was at the bottom of the Algonquin River. Among it, we also found the murder weapon. <laughs> now, Carlos, I'm sure you're mature enough to understand how these cases work. We flush out the little fish so that the bigger fish get scared and swim off for a while. You want my advice? Forget about catching Muzio for now. That's a case for another day. Sorry, Superintendent. You obviously don't know me. Because if you did, you know that I never start something and don't finish it. Hello, Carlos Guerra. You want to know the last thing Zoe said before I cut her? You're speaking to a national officer. Give me your location now. She begged for her life. Can't wait to see you do the same. Give me your location now. We have your file, Carlos. You live in Manaus. Smack Center in the Amazon. Loosen up with your wife. Does she have a put in the oven? Officer Carlos. I know who you are. Tell Sebastian Muzio I'm searching. Someone to check up on her. What have you done to her? better now, but I would be happier if you were here. I felt the baby kick as I woke up. I think that's a good sign. How's the case going? Actually, baby, uh, things are going great. So we can have lots of children. I believe in you, Carlos. You do whatever you need to do. Hi there. Um, I guess I'd better speak now or forever hold my peace. So here it goes. If you're watching this, it could mean a number of things. In this case, I'm going to assume it means I've been killed. On this key, I've attached as much data and documents as I could about Sebastian Muzio and his drug empire. 
find him. Use them to find him. Allow my death to show people that it's no longer time to be afraid. And tell everyone that I died doing what I thought was right. And Sarah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I promise, I promise that I will see you again one day and I'll be watching over you. I love you. the stuff. Yeah, I brought the stuff. Why? I was wondering because last time you forgot about it. Oh, last time. Did I sell the stuff? Did I smoke the stuff? Did I lose the stuff? No, thank you very much. I have the stuff with me. What I did forget was the six pounds of cocaine we were going to use to bargain with Jake. And he was a scumbag anyway, so it all worked out when I killed him. I was just asking, did you bring the stuff? Yes, I brought the stuff. Are we going to continue with this? No, good. Jones about the new supply? No, I was gonna wait till he was finished with me and we to. You know, I hope he doesn't mess up again because last time I had 15 guys in my case and it was not fun. Where's Jones address? I don't remember the exact address. Uh, room 705. Where? Uh, Queens Road. Thank you. Here's the latest sample. We've had to throw in a whole bunch of crap so that the high comes across as different from our imitators. Hmm. Although, to be honest, I do not fucking care if you put in a pubic hair or whatever the hell you want. Like, as long as our customers are happy and my employer is happy and we meet our demand and get the money, we are very good. Anyways, take care of that. Whatever you want, boss. We'll make it. Oh, I've got it. That must be our shooting. My name is Special Officer Carlos Guerra. Yeah, is expecting someone with a brighter complexion. Sebastian Muzio, I'm here to bring you in for questioning about Zoe Bratchner's death. I'm about to know. I'm authorized to use force.
think that impresses me. Now, what they're gonna do, kill me, arrest me, it doesn't matter. Either way, I still win. I killed Zoe Brush. And there's nothing you can do about it. She is dead, and I'm alive, so I win. And what are you going to do about that, Carlos? You still don't do get it, do you, Mr. Carlos? You see, I would expect someone from a country as shitty as yours would understand how a corrupt system works. There are the big fish, and then there are the small fish. You take me down, you're taking no one down. So go ahead, man. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you? Did you get all that? Over. Pulling out. Over. Okay. A confession. You have a confession. Wow. Great work, Detective. Excellent stuff. But, you know, I'll be free in a matter of weeks. Okay, the city is corrupt as hell. I mean, what was in it for you, really? This. You son of a bitch. Fun in court. Asshole. Well, you did it, Carlos. Congratulations. Well, on the downside, uh, it's too bad that Musio can still use his defense because you beat it out of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought about that. On the upside, though, when he gets out, I guess you know, he'll get your big old paycheck, huh? How dare you? Don't worry. I only play with the big fish. Bye, Superintendent Gomez.